Welcome back to Turf Talk, a week and a half out from the Belmont Stakes. And Vance, I'm glad there's not a green screen behind us. No, uh, we we did not uh, get talk to each other beforehand about when we before we walked into our closets this morning. No, it's no, just we did not. Pure coincidence. But we have a few of these. Yes. 140, 141, 142 next year. Most importantly, though, Belmont Stakes next week. Yesterday was Memorial Day. Used to be the Met Mile Handicap was known as being on that day. No longer. It's on Belmont Stakes Day 2. Big event days, all the rage and racing. Belmont Stakes takes it to a whole nother level. What do you think of this trend? Uh, I think it helps uh, attendance-wise. Uh, we get lots of major stakes all on, on one card. Uh, handle, it seems to be helping all these tracks uh, generate you know, $10, $15 million in handle every time we have one of these special days. On the flip side, it turns out that when you combine a lot of stakes races on, uh, and concentrate them on one or two certain days, it leaves lots of Saturdays and Sundays very barren, and especially Memorial Day weekend has really fallen off the map as far as major races are concerned. Yeah, I remember growing up, Memorial Day weekend and Labor Day weekend, you know, they didn't necessarily have the big, huge, sexy race, although the Met Mile, you could say, falls under that category, but... Uh, you know, there, there were definitely stakes all around the country, and it was sort of, you know, America's Day at the races. I think they called Labor Day for a while. And Memorial Day had that same vibe. That's gone, and you're right, really a lot of Saturdays and Sundays are left pretty blank on the stake schedule. And to me, it's, and I'm not an MBA, but, I mean, there has to be some diminishing returns here. I mean, I look at the Belmont Stakes Day, and it is exciting. I mean, last year with the Phipps, how that turned out, and granted, a lot of those Phillies really didn't go on with it. But on paper, it was exciting. We're seeing a lot of the same chatter for the Met Mile. Uh, but then you ask yourself, I mean, does the easy goer need to be on that day then? Would, you know, th is there a better spot for that, even if it's the day before, to give that card a boost? I, I mean, I just wonder when you get to four, five, six, seven stakes, at what point do you say, okay, this isn't actually benefiting the card anymore? I mean, we're at, we're at critical mass. Yeah. And, and it's not just, uh, you know, the Labor Days and Memorial Days. I think even the 4th of July used to be a lot bigger than it, and than it has been in recent years. It, all, it just seems like federal holidays, for whatever reason, just aren't, uh, you know, the, uh, the big boost that horse racing needs. Horse racing's biggest events are actually on non-holidays now at the Triple Crown races, Breeders' Cup, uh, you know, Saratoga and Del Mar falls in between uh, the, the big summertime yeah. holidays. And so... Uh, and really for, I mean, Memorial Day again, to, to bring that up, but I mean, a big reason the Preakness is sort of in limbo, what they want to do with it timing-wise, is if you go to three weeks out, half the time you're going to be Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. If you go to four weeks out, half the time you're going to be Memorial Day weekend or into June. Uh, it makes it a lot harder to, you know, I mean, the Derby gets a lot of mileage out of the first Saturday in May. Obviously at this point, yeah, it sells itself. It's this huge event, but having that tagline people knowing where to find it on the calendar like the indy 500 another event that's part of a sport that maybe isn't as popular as it was 50 years ago but people know that event they know the derby they know the triple crown and timing's important and memorial day doesn't fit in yeah and that's why i've always questioned you know some people in racing have always advocated spreading out uh, the triple crown you know over two months you know, running the uh, Preakness on Memorial Day and then the Belmont on the 4th of July. Uh, to me, you know, I think those are two holidays are more for family events. People aren't concentrating so much on sporting events during those holidays. And so the idea of spreading the Triple Crown out over eight weeks or whatever it is now just never made a whole lot yeah. of sense to me. No, and, you know, I have to say, you know, this weekend I actually like not having, to, you know, I had some family stuff going on with Memorial Day, three-day weekend, no school yesterday, et cetera. I actually like not having to worry about, oh, there's this huge race I have to see. I mean, I play that game practically all winter and early spring with the Derby prep races, and, oh, it's 6.15, I got to make sure I'm, you know, in, either in front of my computer or have the mobile ready to go. Uh, and it was actually kind of nice Memorial Day knowing, well, you know, I'm not really missing much. No, and uh, but it, it, the race racing that did occur yesterday did uh, did generate uh, a lot of interest around the country. Monmouth had a terrific weekend where over sixty thousand people showed up oh, with, with a great deal of uh, help from food trucks sure. all weekend. <laughs> um, uh, per capita wasn't probably Which what they well, probably wasn't wasn't mm -hmm. what they wanted, but still Monmouth, you know, had a had a terrific weekend. Belmont uh, probably had a 
a good crowd out yesterday for their New York bread races. Right. So back in my day, food trucks were car called carnival food stands. Yeah, yeah. I mean, do people not realize that's what these things are? I mean, they're yeah, they're what would pull up to a county fair and sell you gyros and elephant ears, <laughs> and now they're food trucks and they're charging twice the price. Yeah. Uh, Probably a bit more uh, fancier food than the mini donuts I grew up with in the in the, in the Prano pups at the state. Yeah, fair. they're still driving them around in a truck, though. That's but, true. Yeah, that's true. but it's been good for racing. People love them. I love seeing people go out to the track, so that's a win. And again, I mean, you don't necessarily need these stakes laden cards to get people out. Mix it up a little bit. That's good to see. Uh, and we'll see what happens next week with the Belmont Stakes yeah. Fest. Yeah. And I, I think it's important to, you know, we have these big event days now, but it's also important to keep, I think, major stakes going every weekend around the country. You know, it gives people a reason to tune back into racing and not just a select few times during the course of the year. I think it's important to keep that continuity going. Yeah, always a balance. Uh, you know, you do one thing, you don't want to overdo it, which definitely happens in business. Uh, you don't want to underdo it, too. You want to give everyone a, a shot to see greatness. We'll see if we see it next week. We'll certainly talk about it the week of, and we'll look forward to talking to you then.